in the situation of the monthly boundary dissolving group mushroom festivals, ego was not allowed to form. And I really view psilocybin as almost an inoculation against the formation of egos. But as soon as the mushrooms become less available, this thing begins to grow in the human personality, literally like a cancer or a tumor. It's a calcareous growth on the psyche that if we do not have this embeddedness in the vegetable matrix of Gaia, then anxiety arises a lot of it uh, sexual and related to self-identity and I don't have to discuss this just refer you to Freud and the whole gang everybody understands how bent we are the question is why and I think this is why because we have been in a permanent state of neurotic disequilibrium for 15,000 years and every move to attempt to correct this has pushed us further away from the goal that we want to have. So now we arrive at the late 20th century, nuclear arsenals fully in hand. We have made since the 15th century a demonic pact with matter that has allowed us great insight into the destructive properties of matter, made us, you know, handmaiden to the devil. And yet we are still completely dark about our own motivations, how to educate our children, how to put in place a set of values that don't loot the future. And all of these problems appear to be getting worse. We're at the end of a process, call it 2,000, 5,000, you know, choose your date, but a long process of denial of human nature first, and then war against human nature. And it goes so deep into our culture that we don't even know where the basement level is. Well, my response to this is to advocate the only thing that I think will work, but it's not a political position, because a political position always implies a willingness to compromise and negotiate with the other side. And there really is no willingness to negotiate on the part of the psychedelic position because it's pretty non-negotiable.